a girl and boy married. Look, one, three, one, two, three, three kids, one girl, two kids, three kids. That was both people, and that's it, that's it. What are you trying to tell me about yourself? Is this a goal that you have for yourself? Yes, yes. And what is that goal? I like the man, 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 you, Debbie, and the man. You'd like to have a husband? Yeah, that's up, yes, guys. Well, instead of referring to that individual as a man, how about I would like to be married? I know. Nothing here, nothing. <laughs> guys. But why don't you say it right. the way. I lied to my man right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, Deborah, thought, I don't think that's gonna fly in Nebraska. <laughs> you're bad, you're bad, guys. Okay. It's a good. I'm very sorry. Listen, you're bad. I have a man. Well, I think that you could say well, well, that you'd like I, to have well, a boyfriend well, well. and you'd like to be married. And that's it. That's it. My car's a really a bitch. But you know, it's hard to be married and not be somewhat of an independent person. I know, it's a hell. Unless you're gonna marry a very wealthy man. I know, right now. <laughs> right now, you, 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 you. Debbie's mother, Marilyn Price Spivak, founder and director of the National Head Injury Foundation. You know, you can read all kinds of things in the literature of what the trauma of loss of a limb will cause, what loss of eyesight will cause, what loss of hearing will cause. Uh, what a chronic illness will cause. Put all of this into a mosaic of disability, and can you imagine when you no longer have control over your body, your thought processes, your memory, your judgment, your hearing, your sight, your senses. Put it all together into one mighty unattractive package, and that's what you have with severe head injury. To you, all right? You, too. you look very nice. You're fine. Now have a good day too, okay? Goodbye. See you later, okay? Eleven years ago, Debbie was in a coma for three months following a car crash. Today, she lives in a community of her peers at this New Hampshire Head Injury Rehabilitation Center. What's this? Uh, milk. Okay. What's um, another word for that? Um, it's not really milk. Milk. Um, milk. In my coffee, I put in sugar uh, and... Cream. Cream. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's what I'd use, I I'm think. sorry, that cream, one. sorry. Mm -hmm. Ketchup number. Butter. God. Think of the two I'm, of them I'm, together. I'm, 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 and take your time. Uh, oh, without writing. Let's try it. I'm sorry, Let's see Green cheese, no. And my eggs, I want to put on some... Salt, salt and pepper. Okay, good. S salt, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Right. Salt, salt and pepper. Okay, which is which? Salt. No. Salt, salt, salt. Mm. Hmm? Oh. Salt, salt and pepper. Very that's good. It, that's okay. it. Salt and pepper. Deb's problems are, are really numerous and diffuse. She had sustained severe brain damage um, in all different parts of her brain. So cognitively, or how she thinks is impaired, it changes how she speaks. The part of her brain that um, is the communications part was damaged pretty severely. So Deb knows in her head what she wants to say, but there's like a short circuit that goes from here to her mouth, so she can't say it. And maybe once she knows what she wants to say, she can't form the motor movements, perhaps, to actually say the words. OK. Spoon. Very good. <laughs> What's this? Fork. Very good. And knife. Oh, excellent. <laughs> What's this one? Napkins. OK. <laughs> Food. <laughs> well, close. What, what do you call it? Eating. Right. You eat off this. You eat food off I this. I know. But what is this called? And for a spoon, a fork, and napkins, and plate. This kind of lifelong rehabilitation care costs between four and seven million dollars, or about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Right now, the great majority of long-term coma survivors are cared for in nursing homes or by their families. But 
Dr. Yehuda Ben Yeshe, director of the head trauma program at New York University. The person is aware, sometimes dimly and sometimes more clearly, that he or she cannot do what, what he wants to do and is unable to do it. And of course, this produces frustration. If this is not possible to overcome by means of the known remedial techniques that we have today, because let's be clear about it, the ultimate in rehabilitation is to rewire the brain, and nobody knows yet how to rewire the brain. So what we are really doing is we are troubleshooting around intractable problems.